What's up guys? Lady Survival here. So today I am in kind of half of my Sylvanas cosplay. I felt like being her tonight just randomly as one would do when you have a World of Warcraft cosplay um, and I didn't really feel like putting the entire uh, armor set on because it's kind of annoying to put on and take off and you know I just needed to do enough to kind of channel my inner Sylvanas vibes so I just have on um, the chest piece and the uh, corset. Let me stand up for you guys. Basically this is what I have on. I did have my gloves on earlier but I was getting sweaty and uh, it's not the most comfortable thing. I'm like so hot and sweaty that I'm like kind of my chest is all like red. I'm very constricted and I've had this on for about two hours now and uh, I think I'm ready to take it off but I wanted to make a little video before I do that because um, I mean if you go to the effort of putting any cosplay on I think it's worth like documenting it at least a little bit so yeah um, I've just been chilling. Um, I played Classic WoW basically all day today with my fiance which is not weird like I mean we always play every day but uh, yeah we did like probably the most fun thing we've ever done on WoW in a long time anyways. It was like very like 2005 like classic wow vibes like just the era of vanilla wow basically slash also when classic wow came out like a year and a half ago like i can't believe it's already been that long um but just with like everyone boosting and there being so many like mid maxers and stuff and like anytime you're in trade chat or like lfg chat it's literally just like selling boosts for SM or Mardan or whatever like it's just literally mage boosts and nobody actually like really wants to play World of Warcraft for what it is meant to be which is an MMO where you're supposed to group up with people and make friends and be social and everyone's just boosting to max level and Derek and I are like we actually want to run like dungeons and group up for quests and stuff so it's just hard to do that now like no one's really down so we decided to make new characters, so we made um, tank and healer, so Derek will be tanking and I will be healing. I was talking about this a little bit in my last video, but um, so he made a warrior and I made a priest, um, undead on White Main Horde, which is a PvP server, and um, we decided to make them so that we could kind of help like, you know, make the community a better place and be tank and healers that, um, you know, will run lots of dungeons and put together lots of groups because tank and healer sorry I had a little burp there tank and healer is like the hardest thing to find so at least now we can easily be like looking for three dps for whatever we want to do and it should be a little bit easier to fill um but anyways derek had a super fun idea today he we were like looking at where we should go to quest um we were like level 20 and it was kind of either like silver pine or the barons and like we've ran those zones like so many times derek was looking at the map and we were on voice chat and he was like oh my god let's do it we're doing it and I was like what are we doing like what is it and he hadn't told me yet and then he was like we can go to Westfall and there was like quests to do on the coastline of Westfall where you go and kill like murlocs and kill old merc guy which is like a kind of like boss murloc guy and go to um get a flask of oil from like the field golems that are in the little farm areas of Westfall so we were like oh my god let's do it and he was like we should also run dead mines so we were like posting all in trade chat trying to find a group of people that would be down to like go with us on this epic journey to Westfall as horde characters which is obviously an alliance zone and we managed to find three other people we got a Torin druid an undead warlock and an undead mage and we all basically took the zeppelin over to stranglethorn and then we like ran into this random 60 shaman that gave us like water walking and we like went across the water all the way to westfall and we grabbed all of our quests and it was so epic and everyone was so excited and they were like oh my god this is gonna be like like hella memories like guys we're doing it like this is poggers and it was so much fun and we made so many like those three people are now like really good friends and it was just such a good day and there was lots of like pvp and at one point this like level we don't really know what level they were because they were just like skull to us but um probably like a level 40 or level 50 hunter and we were all like level 20 and some of us were like level 16 and stuff and uh we managed to take down this hunter and there was like a 20 20 something druid with her too and like we just we took him down <laughs> it was so cool and then after we finished doing all of our quests we went and we went and ran dead mines and it was just so iconic it was so good like you really don't get this type of experience on classic that much anymore and um then after that we went over to duskwood and we were like pvping and there was like a bunch of 
like level 28 plus alliance and we're all like level 20 so they were all like red and orange to us and we were like killing them and then eventually they brought like eight of them and then finally they kind of managed to kill us and then we were like all right let's go swim down the river to red ridge and then we went to red ridge and killed a bunch of people and we went like all over and we tried to go to like where the um orc area is where you go and do the escort for john j Kishan, uh, which is iconic on the Alliance side if you've ever done it, and we were like killing people in the cave and killing people over by the knolls in the elite area. It was so much fun. If you don't play WoW, this is probably all gibberish, but it was so good, and Derek recorded everything on OBS, so like I'm definitely gonna get him to send me the footage and I'm gonna edit it and put it together like a little video, because it was so much fun. It was like the best day ever, and everyone in our group was like, this is like hella 2007 vibes, like best day ever, like I've never had this much fun and it just felt like so good to be doing something where like other people were stoked and we actually managed to get some people who wanted to like, you know, get that vibe and everything so it was really really good. So we played for like, I think it was five hours worth of like doing stuff as a group in like the alliance zones and it was just so iconic. Anyways, that was a bit of a story time rant thing but I mean... I'm in my Sylvanas cosplay, so I mean, why not talk about World of Warcraft? It was so good. Definitely do plan to do things like that. And another thing that we did, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. When we were in Red Ridge, we went and did the Hillary's Necklace quest, because that was another one that apparently you can pick up on a Horde character, which is like from, there's like two little kids on the Red Ridge docks, and you have to go and like find a necklace underwater in like this little like dirt pile. And it was like so hardcore, because there was like Red Ridge guards everywhere, and there was a bunch of like level 60s and just alliance like trying to PvP us and stuff. And um, the rest of our group ended up leaving because it was already like five hours into the day, but Derek and I were like, we're gonna do this quest. So we died a bunch trying to do it around all the guards and the PvP, but we managed to do it. We did that Hillary's Necklace quest and it was bomb. Yeah, we basically had a good day and then when we logged off I was like, I'm putting on my Sylvanas cosplay. It's just like been a really good wow day today. And earlier my mom also got me an iced cap from Tim Hortons, which is like, if you live in Canada or if you've been to Canada and had an iced cap from Tim Hortons or just Tim Hortons in general, it's the best thing. And it was my first Tim Hortons that I've had since I got back to Canada on Saturday. So after being gone for five months without Tim Hortons, that's like a Canadian's worst nightmare. So today was just really good. Basically the best day ever on Classic WoW, an ice cap and Sylvanas cosplay. Like, I mean, does it get better than that? Probably not. That's basically... All I wanted to talk about, I just knew I had to get like some kind of video while I'm in my semi-casual Sylvanas cosplay. I have like my um, Sylvanas leggings on. Let me see if I can show you guys. Ta-da! Sylvanas leggings. I posted some pictures on my Instagram as well um, and I do have my, my bow. It's on the floor over there somewhere but I posted a picture of me with my bow and my cosplay on my Instagram story. And then like just a picture of me with like just my normal cosplay stuff on um, like an actual post thing. So yeah, I'm having a good day. I'm going to get back on to WoW with Derek because it is 9.30 where I am, which means it's 7.30 where he's at. So our night is it's getting, getting close to the end and we want to get as much time as we can per day. So um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little video and that you enjoyed my semi-casual Sylvanas cosplay. Um, I might also upload me singing the Banshee Queen parody song by Charm, which is like my favorite song in the world, and it's like kind of a parody of Dancing Queen by ABBA. I freaking love it, so I'm probably going to sing that while I'm still in my, my little costume just to make the best of it. And also before I go, Brightwing and little baby Murloc wanted to say goodbye as well. Um, they were just nearby and I thought it was suiting for uh, a little WoW themed video and uh, I was killing Murlocs all day today, so... Yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye!